Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in here. Got another battle replay here. Actually, we're going to be doing a 4v4 in Shogun 2, which, uh, as you guys probably know, I really have not done a whole lot of other Total War games just yet on the channel, but I'm looking to start moving forward. Continue on with the uh, Rome 2 battles and everything, but I'm looking to start doing some more of the Total War battles. So, again, if you guys have any battles in Shogun, Rome 2, um, Medieval you know medieval kingdom uh, medieval total war 2 any any of the med any of the total war games feel free to send them on over to me i have all of them as current all the way up to three kingdoms so like i said if you guys have any battles and you'd like me to cover them feel free to send them on over uh, i do want to all i do also want to say thank you for the continued support guys uh, as i said in the last couple of videos over 600 subscribers it's absolutely fantastic and uh, thank you for the continued support so, uh, as I said, this is going to be the first time I'm doing a total a Shogun battle, so hopefully I don't mess up any of the names really. They're not very complicated, so, but hopefully I say them correctly. So let's get into the uh, first army here. We have Rin Eri playing as, I guess this is the uh, Avatar battles, so he's not playing an actual faction. I do like his flag though, so it's pretty cool there. Uh, he is bringing with him nine units of the Red Bear Infantry, which I believe is a musket infantry. Yeah, they all got guns there. I imagine they probably have swords as well. So, but pretty cool looking unit there. Uh, he's also bringing two units of the Shogunate Guard Infantry, which let's see if I can try and find those guys. Shogunate Guard Infantry. Here's a unit of them right here. More musket guys. So pretty, uh, pretty cool looking. I mean, I, I like I said, I do like his flag. So I guess the flags and the units inside the armies uh, reflect the colors on their flags. So that should be make it a little easy to know who is who. Uh, he is also bringing one unit of the Vermilion Bird Force, which again I'm gonna have to try and find them because I don't know. Exactly. Oh, there they are. They're right there. Perfect. Okay, so more musket guys. Can't really tell any sort of stats or anything like that. I haven't been able to find any ways to look and see stats of units so far. Uh, he's also bringing his general here is a unit of the uh, unit of cavalry. I guess this is a avatar general. I'm not sure which one is the general. Probably this guy right here in the center. I would imagine he looks different from everybody else. So I guess that's his general. He also does have two other units of his Red Bear Infantry over here on in these woods. And then I just happened to notice two flags back over here. And he's actually got two units of his Kisho Ninjas behind enemy lines over here. This one's kind of far away from everything. But then he's got this other unit back up over here. And this army here is going to be pretty much caught out. Uh, he's got his general right here. And he's got his artillery right here as well. So this ninja unit should be able to get a pretty good jump on uh, this army here. So let's get further into the army compositions. We will move over to the first ally here on the blue team. Uh, this is being commanded by Trebor797. He's actually the guy that sent the battle, battle replay in. So dude, thank you for sending in the first Shogun 2 uh, battle replay for me to cover. Let's see if this is his. Yeah. So he's got one unit up here, a unit of the Waco Raiders, which uh, any of you who don't know anything about the, to the Shogun 2 battles, especially on field battles, I'm pretty sure you can add buildings in. I don't know if every field battle does have buildings, but each one of these buildings does give a bonus to whichever army controls them. Like this, this building increases the melee attack and charge of all units. We have this building here that increases the reload time, a reload rate of all missile units. And it also, if they're close enough to the building, it restores their ammunition supplies to nearby missile units. Third building here is increases the armor and melee defense of all units. And then there is a fourth... Oh, no, there's five buildings here. Oh, okay. Uh, increases the stamina and movement speed of all units. And then there is a fifth building right here, and it increases the morale of all units. So as you can see, each one of these buildings definitely is something that everybody is going to want to get their hands on. Let's continue on here with Trebor's army. Uh, he's bringing three units of the Naganada Warrior Monk Cavalry, which I'm pretty sure back over here. Yeah, here's a unit of the Naginata 
uh, warrior monk cavalry right here pretty pretty cool looking guys as you can see there they're not about as in their hands two-handed uh, halberd type slash spear weapons he's got three units of his yari arshigaru which i believe is just a spear unit yeah wow look at those spears that would probably hurt a lot in three directions so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty rough uh he's got four units of lone sword ashigaru which i don't know where they are oh there's a unit of them right here i don't know why they're called lone sword that's i don't know like i said i've not really i don't really have a lot of uh time in shogun 2 i think maybe 30 hours in total so um He's also got three units of his sword attendants. Let's, let's see if we can find those guys. Mm, sword attendants. Ah, right here on his front line. Okay, so his front line here is three units of sword attendants. Actually, ooh, wow. Two-handed swords. That's probably going to be pretty devastating. I would imagine. I don't know if this is like a throwaway unit or if it's just a really, really, really good unit. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, he's got one unit of fire cav, fire cavalry, which I'm guessing they throw fire, maybe throw fire bombs or something. Uh, there's, a, there's a unit of the fire cav here. So they do all have spears in their hands, um, or some sort of spear, but uh, I don't know what exactly they're going to do, so I'm going to see it just like when you see it. Sorry about the long, longer uh, intro here. I just want to make sure that I cover everything that I can. And his general here is a one of his avatar bodyguards. Uh, again, I'm guessing this is his general right here in the center of that unit. Moving on over here to his ally, we have this green flag faction here. Uh, this guy is sorry, man. I can't say your name. I don't know how to say your name, so I don't want to even try and mess it up. Uh, he's bringing actually a little bit smaller of, a, of an army compared to his allies. He's bringing four units of the Red Bear Infantry. He's got three units of the Yari Ki, which are right here. He's got three units of his Yari Ki, which is a cavalry unit. Uh, he's got a unit of Revolver Cavalry, which I'm guessing that's self-explanatory. His general back here is another one of the general's bodyguard. And he's also bringing the United States Marines, which I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this unit is in this game. Like I said, I don't really have very much practice in uh, Shogun 2, so I'm not sure where they came from. And then the final ally here, we have Terry Wong, who is commanding his Avatar army, I assume. He's bringing with him five units of the Naginata attendants which are up here on his front line he's got five of those uh pushing on a little bit further he's actually bringing four units of the uh lone sword also this unit is elite elite lone sword units there do any of the other ones do they look different yeah they look they do look different so i guess the elite ones have some better armor on them um Let's see, what else is he bringing? Five units of the Katana Samurai, which, right here in his third line, Katana Samurai. When I hear the word Samurai, I just think people are going to die pretty quickly. Samurais are pretty badass, in my opinion. Uh, pushing back a little bit further into his lines, he's got a bunch of his cavalry here. Let's see, he's got, this is his general here, the Curiosir captain avatar's bodyguard getting a little bit more he's got some naginata warrior monk cavalry uh monk warrior naginata warrior monk cavalry moving on down a little bit further and he's got some yari cavalry back over here as well so that will take out that will finish off the blue army here let's move on over to the red side of the battlefield uh this army here is being commanded by karvat kravat Sorry, dude, again, if I'm messing your name up, it's not anything personal. Uh, he is bringing with him four units of the Red Bear Infantry. He's got two units of White Bear Infantry, which I'm assuming that probably maybe have difference in stats. Maybe that's why they're called different names. Uh, 
I don't know where his white bear infantry is. There they are. Here's a unit of white bear infantry. They look pretty similar to the red bear infantry. It's just they have white helmets on or yeah, they have white helmets on instead of red hair. Red helmets, I should say. Uh, he's also got two units of the Black Tortoise Force, which, let's see if we can find them, just so you guys can see what they look like. Black Tortoise Force, he's a unit of them right here. Pretty cool looking guys. Pretty standard uh, oriental clothing there. Uh, he's got one unit of the Inferente de Marines, which, let's see, where are they? Uh, no, that's police. Oh, that's a different army. <laughs> uh, he's got a unit here of his uh, spear levy as well, up on his front line in front of the Red Bear infantry. I don't know where his, uh, where these guys are, the marine guys that he has. Uh, getting into his cavalry, though, we do see a unit of the Yarikari cavalry, second unit there move a little bit further down another unit so he's got three units of the Arikari cavalry he's got his general's bodyguard there um, and he is also bringing a unit of Armstrong guns which is a cannons actually four unit four four pieces of artillery here cannons so that should be pretty devastating for over there if uh, the cannons work in this game as well as they do in like Napoleon and 1212 and stuff like that they'll probably be pretty devastating uh, moving on to his first ally here, we have no name. This guy doesn't have a name that I can see. It's just a little symbol there. So we will go over his army. He is bringing four units of the Yari Ki, which is the cavalry unit. He's got the unit of carbine cavalry, or carbine cavalry, however you'd like to call it. Uh, where are his carbine cavalry? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm hoping to get better at this game as far as covering and everything like that. Uh, he does have four units of his Red Bear Infantry. He's got one unit of the Shogun Guard Cavalry, which I think I just saw them. Is that them right there? No, this is Torso... Toso... Toso Rifleman. This is another unit of his here. Pretty cool looking rifle unit there. Uh, he's got some more, yeah, Red Bear Infantry, Red Bear Infantry. What is this? Carbine Cavalry here. So, pretty standard, you know, carbines. Pretty much know what those are. Um, yeah, the Yari Ki. Oh, actually, Shogunate Guard Cavalry, right here. Okay, that's the. I think that's the unit I was trying to find right there. Um, and he's got two units of the Shinsegumi, Shinsegumi Police Force, which are somewhere <laughs> probably gonna oh yeah hey, hey, they're they're right there so more rifles more rifles a lot of rifles in this game a lot of rifles in this battle uh, moving on to the next army here we actually have sick sick is bringing four units of the Kisho ninjas which I'm pretty sure those are the guys that we saw in the woods back over there uh, let's see if we can find them though Kisho Ninjas. Hmm. Can't exactly see them. Maybe they are hidden? It's quite possible that they are hidden. Uh, he is also bringing with him three units of light cavalry. So he's got uh, the three units of the Yari Ki cavalry here. He's also got a unit of his carbine cavalry there as well. Oh no, that's not sick. Sorry. Here's his light cavalry. Okay, so his three units of light cavalry there. Uh, he also has a unit, a couple units of the Great Guard, which I believe is another cavalry unit. He's got a unit of matchlock samurai somewhere. I have to find those guys. There's, there they are, right here. Matchlock samurai. Wow. Like the armor. Pretty awesome armor there. Uh, his general is a regular Avatar's bodyguard. And he also is bringing four units of the Nodachi Samurai. Let's get a little close-up of them. Yeah, big. this is the two-handed. This is the long, long, long sword that they used back then. 
So, very, very, very devastating unit. And the final army here for the blue side is being commanded by Lord Doom, or Lord Dum. I think it's Doom. Uh, he is bringing a bunch of different units, so I'm going to go over these guys. Uh, he's got four unit, three units of the Yarnakari here. He's got his unit of the Carbine Cavalry there. And he has some of his Black Bear Infantry here, Vermilion Bird Force, for another unit of Vermilion Bird Force. Uh, the Samurai Hero Unit, which I guess these guys are... Oh, uh, they have bows, so I guess they are a ranged cavalry unit. Uh, he also does have a unit of White Tiger Force here. We have not seen these guys just yet. They don't actually have anything on their head. And uh, like I said, the General and the uh, Armstrong guns for him as well. So this is about a half an hour battle. 4v4 here, so we're just going to get it to start going. And uh, I hope I didn't waste too much of your time there in the beginning covering all of the units. I just like to... I don't know. I like doing that. I like covering all of the units in every single one of the armies. So, I'm sorry if that took a little bit of time. Uh, right off the bat, we do see the unit of the Waco Raiders making their way up to try and capture the uh, missile building here. Are any of the artillery firing just yet? An ambush, General! An ambush! An ambush. Somewhere there's an ambush. I guess I gotta turn that voice off somewhere. Uh, so, Cravat is moving up all of his infantry here it does seem that the no-name faction is going to be charging up a unit of his carbine cavalry over here maybe to try and cut us to knock this unit back at least so hopefully they won't capture it but it does look uh no flag is still down so this this building has not been captured just yet but trebor is going to move up some more units i would assume to get them into this circle to be able to capture it check this middle building here uh, this building has now been almost captured or it looks like it has been captured here so now they are uh, the blue arm red army I'm sorry is under control of this building here oh wait we got combat already going on whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. slow this down a little bit here a lot of cavalry moving through here for here we have some Lundum's cavalry some of six cavalry we do have some Terry Wong's cavalry in here as well We'll do a little slow motion here so you can see maybe what's going on. Lot of cavalry in here. Lots of cavalry in here. Wow. Any infantry coming in? Yeah, we do have a couple of units here. The Katana trainees, this is, uh, some of the Katana samurai starting to make their way in here as well. Any flags starting to waver? Anybody really getting beat up? We do have a unit here. Uh, Kisho Ninja here for sick are wavering. We have a unit here of Terry Wong, the Nag Naginata Warrior Monk Cavalry is wavering as well. They actually look like they have controlled themselves. What are pushing their way through here? Lundrum is pulling his cavalry back. Actually, you have a unit here. This is the uh, Hero Samurai. Okay, so they are a bow cavalry unit. Whoa, got a little bit of a hop there. Let's see where else combat is going on. We do have some fire going on on this side. Actually, this unit of the Naganata attendants getting hammered, absolutely hammered by the Armstrong guns here. Doing a fantastic job on that unit, down to 37 men out of 75 left. Has this samurai unit moved yet? They have not. That samurai unit has not moved. Does look like this unit is moving forward. Says, I guess they're not hidden when they're moving, which... I'm wondering when these, when either one of these armies is going to turn people around. Uh, let's get back over to the other side over here in the woods. There's a lot, still a lot of combat. I mean, wow, these guys are really getting into each other. More cavalry charging their way into those woods here. A bunch of infantry in here now as well. So again, a, okay, somebody's general is now under attack. Again, guys, apologies for the uh, voice over there from the computer. I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get rid of that voice. Whoa. Some blood going on. People getting cut up. More cannon fire coming in. Is the, are they firing over here now? Oh, that's the cav... That's the uh, ninja. Yeah, they're going to come out. Oh, they're going to get them. Come on, keep going, ninjas. 
Yep, here they come right out of the woods, and they're going to cut off this artillery here. This artillery unit completely unexpected. Completely unexpected that, nin that ninja charge there. Yeah, Armstrong Cavalry, this unit just got destroyed down to two men left in that unit. Oh, we have a bunch of units breaking, actually, routing away. What is this? Yarikari here for Lundrum. Sick has some of his area Shigaru running away as well. So battle is definitely going on over here. Actually, looks like battle lines are pretty close on this side as well. Oh no, this is this is these two units. These two armies of friends are on the same side, I should say. Gravat is moving up some more of his army here. He's got a unit of his spear levy inside this yellow circle, probably neutralizing this building now. Sword attendants now charging on up. Are they going to come over and get into combat with some of these spear levies? Oh, here's the marine unit that I was looking for. Okay. So, yeah, they look like marines. I guess he just maybe changed the name of them. Oh! Wow, devastating volley here by this unit of the police force. How many did they kill? 16 men? Killed out of this unit off of one volley. Look at all these guys here. That guy's, these guys are still dying. Oh, that's got, that had to have hurt so bad back then to get shot by a musket ball. Let's get back on over here, see how this combat is going in the center. Uh, Sick is just running all over the place. He's got cavalry moving around. Lundrum is pushing forward with some more of his Yarikachi here. Looks like somebody's army is pretty much gone. Yeah, I think this this army that was on the end over here, I think that was, uh, was that Terry Wong's army? I guess his army is pretty much gone. I don't really see any more of his units around. But Terry Wong has been eliminated off of the battlefield there. What is that? Is that just the, oh, it's a unit of six light cavalry here capturing this building. see what combat is going on on this side yeah these units still firing at each other actually we do have the police unit has unit moved up to two units of the uh, Shinsegumi Shin police force have charged up and taken out that one unit of the halberds that were here the I'm sorry sword attendants that were there let's see what yeah no name here still moving up more of his forces actually got a unit of cavalry carbine cavalry charging around on the opposite side of the battlefield here so so far it looks like the red team is putting in some work here on the uh, coalition of the blue blue factions here Trebor is starting to move the majority of his force on over in this direction probably trying to give a oh, Renki uh, I'm sorry Rin Erie's got some units over here as well he's the army that started way on the other side this is a general unit here Trebor's unit general unit is here Got some fighting going on in the center here. Lodrum has some of his Black Bear infantry and Samurai heroes taking on a unit of Red Bear infantry here. More volleys coming in from these uh, Red Bear infantry units here. We're going to take a look and just watch them get some shots off. Oh, uh, now they're going to move. Oh, that unit just got destroyed again. Losing more men as they're trying to run away. Oh, this is the general. No, that's not the general. It is the general. Broken. So Ludrum has lost his general here now. That's probably going to be a pretty big hit for him. I don't really know how much... Actually, I don't think Ludrum really has any units left either. Ludrum looks like he's been removed from the battlefield. Do have a bit of a charge coming out. Some Yari Ashigaru trying to charge into this unit of Red Bear. Another unit coming in. Actually, some of the Nodachi Samurai making their way in to this Red Bear unit as well. Red Bear look like they're going to try and pull back. Nodachi Samurai do not look like they're going to have it, though. Continuing the charge forward. Looks like maybe they're going to try and catch up to them. Mm, looks like they caught... Yeah, they caught him on this end here. So... Actual combat will start happening in between these two units here. You see the Red Bear infantry pulling their uh, swords out to get into combat, but I don't think they're going to last 
Oh, God, wow. Wow, the killing, uh, killing in this game is pretty vicious. Jeez. Yeah, that red berry, you just got cut in half. Yeah. Oh, that's actually Nodachi units down to seven men, huh? Oh, because they've been being shot by this guy, by the Green Army's uh, Red Bear Infantry. Wow. So I think that Nojachi unit is gone now. I don't see them still here. They were roughly in this area. They are gone. Red Bear Infantry there. We have some more of six cavalry now making his way around. I believe this is his general here. He's got some of his Great Guard moving around and a unit of his Yari Ashigaru charging their way around as well. Probably going to try and capture this building again. I don't know who is... I don't know who this building is under control of right now. The flag is already all the way down here. So I don't know if the flag actually has to get to the top of this pole here in order to signify who's got what. Let's swing on back over here into the middle, though. I was covering a ton on that side. Actually, wow, look at Trebor. He's pushing straight up through the center of this battlefield here now. Making his way up. He's got a lot of units left. Wow. General right there, yeah. So it seems that now the battlefield, instead of being these ways, now the battlefield is uh, west to east. No Name has got some of his police there. Cravat moving his, some of his units back. Is this uh, your Armstrong gun unit? Okay, so his cannons are set up again. Let's see if they're going to fire at anything. I don't know if anything's really in their range to fire, though. are having some more fire, though. Oh, look at this! Carbine Cavalry over here getting a good flanking shot in onto these Lone Sworn Ashigaru units here. Guy's taking a couple of losses. You can see some of them laying dead here. This guy's still dying again. Yeah, it probably was really painful to get shot back then. Took a long time to die, depending on where you got shot. Uh, we do have the general moved up. This is a bow unit. They're going to get some shots off onto the Carbine Cavalry. Carbine Cavalry is actually down to 34 out of 60 men. It says that they are firing, but the... Yo, wow. Lost nine men on that one. Sorry, eight men on that one. Nice volley there by the general. Is there any combat really going anywhere else? Not just yet. I did hear a resounding boom, though. I think that was coming from the Armstrong guns. We're going to hang out over here now. Yeah, they are aiming... Let's see what direction they're firing. At. They're firing over in that direction. Oh, good shot. Trying to shoot into some of the U.S. Marines over here for this green faction. It's more of Rin Erie's uh, Red Bear Infantry moving their way around. So, yeah, now we have battle lines drawn up on west to east. Ooh, big volley here. Looks like that whole unit got shot off. Red Bear Infantry, what are they firing into here? Uh, looks like they're firing into some of the sword attendants here from Trebor. He's just going to charge them in. Do have a unit of the police starting to re uh, retreat a little bit, looks like. Red Bear Infantry is retreating as well. I don't know if these sword attendants are going to catch them. They do look like they run pretty fast. These guys are moving. Let's see, still confident they are still involved in the battle. Don't know exactly where they're going to go. Oh, look at this. We have some more infantry, Red Bear infantry, making their way up the hill. So here's our combat going on on this. Sword attendants taking on a unit of, oh, I'm sorry, multiple units here of Red Bear infantry. Lots, lots of shots coming in from some of the Red Bear infantry over there. Looks like there was another unit back over on that side. Some more Red Bear infantry getting some fire in. Uh, that... Okay, so that unit of the Sword Attendants seems to have broken. How many men are left? 18 out of 75. So yeah, that unit left. And we are having a lot of fire going back and forth. Unit of Red Bear infantry moving up. Oh, Cavalry Charge. Cavalry Charge coming in here. Cravat getting a big charge in onto some of these Red Bear infantry here. Cavalry starting to lose some men. Red Bear Infantry is losing men as well. 
Looks like the cavalry is going to just make their way back out, or is the Red Bear infantry actually breaking? Nope, these units are still fresh here. This Red Bear infantry shattered. Wow, that was huge. That was a huge sneak charge in there. I didn't even see that unit coming. We do have an Avatar General making their way over here for sick. wonder where he's going to try and go into. Provat's cavalry still running around. Avatar's general here pulling around. Maybe he's looking for some weak units to charge in onto. A lot of fire going back and forth. You can just hear the musket fire all over the place. Is this, ca is this cannon still firing? Let's see what the cannon's doing. Actually, cannon is changing his direction. Oh, Trebor's moved all the way around over here now. Wow. Wow, he's moving fast. Trebor is moving his army around this battlefield very quickly. He's actually getting in onto the flank now of Kravat's army. No name uh, faction here is pulling his units back. You don't know if his Tosa riflemen making their way back. Carbine cavalry starting to charge up. They're going to get some volleys off. Actually, they're firing at some units. Actually, sorry, there's units there charging in. Kravat's unit of spear infantry here has broken. They're not completely shattered, though. They may come back to the battlefield. Oh, that cannon fire going right over the top. I don't know if it hit anything over here. Does not look like any of these units have lost men recently here. Yeah, the, I think the cannon fire is now just lofting over the top. Not really making contact with it. Oh, no. He's hitting his general. He's hitting Trebor's general here. Wow. Trebor losing his general now down 13 men. He's at 17 out of 30 here. What's the firing going on on this side? Again, guys, I do apologize for kind of just jumping all over the place. This is my first time covering a Shogun 2 battle, so I'm trying to make sure that I cover as much as I can. Red Bear Infantry here getting some good volleys down. Probably going to have some sort of a yeah, return volley is going to be coming. This is a spear unit here, so they will not be following back. Volleying back, I should say. Got some melee infantry coming down. Some of the Lone Sword Ashigaru getting into some of the White Bear Infantry here. Also getting into some more White Bear Infantry down on this side. Oh, what do we have breaking here? Lone Sword Ashigaru are starting to waver. Can't exactly really tell how much longer this battle is going to be either. I'm guessing there's a lot of, a lot of units have gone by the wayside there, so I'm not entirely sure how much longer this battle is going to be. We do still have fighting pretty much going all over the place, though. A lot of ca a lot of uh, volleys coming here from the. I'm guessing these are Marines as well. Yeah, the uh, routing, infantry D Marines or Day Marines are firing into some of this White Bear infantry. You have some of the Lone Sword Ashigaru starting to waver. I guess they're going to still try and make their way up, though. Bloody battles in this game. Bloody, bloody battles. Avatar General pulling back. We're going to have some more melee combat going on here. Marines will be taking on this Lone Sword on Shigaru unit. They are immediately breaking. Wow. Because those Marines are pretty good. Red Bear Infantry here for Rin. For uh, Rin Iri. Making their way over here. Oh, actually, they got a flanking charge coming in behind some of Kravat's troops here. Good move there. Uh, well, some of them are still firing. Okay. More breaking here in the center. We got some more of Kravat's units. Unit of spear levy starting to waver. Yari Ganshigaru here for Trebor. Still making their way on over here into this unit of White Bear Infantry with this. Yeah, they've got some excellent shots in onto that unit of Yari Ashigaru there. Another charge coming. Some of the Spear Levy looked like they were going to try and get a charge in. Got some Lone Sword Ashigaru, so a lot of melee combat going to be taken on here. Trying to keep an eye on the balance of power. I'm guessing that the yellow is the blue armies. So it does look like the blue armies definitely are having the balance of power in their favor. Still are a lot of guns over here though. A lot of guns here for Rin and Yuri. 
doing some good fire into the Kravats retreating unit of White Bear Infantry. Trebor has got some units here, Yari Ashigaru and Lonesome Ashigaru getting a, finishing this unit off, I should say. So let's see what the Red Army still has. He's got, what is this? He's got his general on over here. Actually, general's starting to make his way back. I'm guessing he was over here holding this building. Do have the uh, general here for six, starting to make his way back towards the battlefield, the active battlefield, I should say. Do have some generals here in the center. No name has uh, Red Bear Infantry. Another unit of Red Bear Infantry is uh, general here. Tosa Rifleman here, starting to pull back. So it looks like maybe he's going to start bringing some units around here to just uh, uh, to have a, uh, a centralized lo location for his armies. Unit over here was wavering. Oh, they still are wavering. Where is this unit? Right here in the center, in the woods here. Red Bear Infantry it says that they are shaken. Let's see what they're trying to fire against. They're firing uphill against the unit of Red Bear Infantry. Starting to waver again. Combat's pretty good. Actually, this unit is... Oh, no, they were pretty much even. But yeah, this unit of Red Bear Infantry looks like they have completely broken. They will be removed from the battlefield as well. And while they're running away, these units of the Shogun, Shogunate Guard Infantry are getting some fantastic shots down onto these men as they are trying to run for their lives. Getting some really good kills. You can still see more of the blood spatter over there. Really well done. Alright, so what do we still have here for the red team? Uh, he's got... Gravat has his general over here, and we have a unit of the Shogunate... I'm sorry. Shinsugumi police force running around over here. Looks like they're going to try and make their way around, but they might be cut off. Green faction here has a unit of Imperial Guard infantry here, trudging their way through the woods. We have a unit of Red Bear infantry here, so it looks like these units might be cut off. Oh, wait. What is that? I thought the general was going to charge in somewhere. So, yeah, it definitely looks like the uh, Red Armies here are trying to pull back whatever units they still have and centralize themselves around this stamina building. They also do still have control of the armor building as well, it looks like. Yeah, this general got beat up. He's only got nine men left in that unit here. Uh, we do have the police force now pulling into the woods down here. I don't know if they're trying to just hide for a moment. Uh, we have some Red Bear infantry charging over this way, trying to guess, trying to cut off the general. We do have another unit of what is this Red Bear infantry? Oh no, this is Shogunate Guard infantry coming over here. I guess they're going to try and capture this building to give them more melee attack and larger charge bonus. Where did Trebor's army go? He's looks like Trebor's army is gone. So what do we still have here on the battlefield? We have Rin. He's got two, three, four. Rin's got four, five units left. Say, uh, I'm sorry. The guy I can't say his name. This green army here has got one unit left. So wow, this is actually getting really close. I'll uh, say the balance of power is definitely in the red army's favor oh, I'm sorry the blue army's favor some more units now making their way back across this body of water six still has his general back up over here though let's see what his general is going to try and do uh, somebody's being shot at no name is actually charging in Looks like he's going to try and charge in onto some of this Imperial Guard infantry and Red Bear infantry mixed in as well. He's got his uh, Shogunate police force, sorry, Shinsugori police force charging on in. Did the general make their way in here? Yeah, Six General made his way in here as well. Six General is getting kind of cut up a little bit now, down to 11 out of 36. Police force is starting to, looks like they're maybe starting to uh, dominate the battle in here, yeah. Actually, this unit of the um, 
Imperial Guard actually shattered. Did the Red Bear Infantry shatter as well? I don't see them anymore. Another general has been brought into the battle, into the woods here. This war, war, woods combat, should say. Sorry. Words are difficult sometimes. This is getting close. Like, I don't know why the balance of power is so in favor of one side. There's not a whole lot of units left on this battlefield. One, two, three, four. Four units left on this side. Six generals coming on out. He's going to pull back. Maybe he was going to try and get a charge in onto this unit while they were moving into position. What is this? This is the uh, Shinsukuri Shinsukumi uh, police force here. Making their way out. Getting a good reload on. Let's see what they're going to get some fire in on. They're firing into that unit of Red Bear Infantry as they're making their way across the field. What is up over there? As you see, a blue box. With a unit of Shogunate Guard Infantry here for Rin making their way over. I guess he's going to try and capture these buildings again. Red Bear Infantry form, thinning out their line here. Get the most guns as possible into each volley. Police force now charging their way through here for this Black Flag faction. I don't know how well that's going to go. Might not be a good, good result there. They still have ammo. Uh, they're not firing. Oh, they're going to pull back again, actually. I wonder why they're pulling back. Oh, that's why they're pulling back, because now they're going to get a crossfire into this unit of police. Wow, good job there. Nice bait. Bait and switch there by, this, uh, by Rin here. Tosa Riflemen, though, are getting some good volleys in onto this unit of Red Bears. They're trying to pull back. You can see they're losing some more men there. Good volleys coming from this Red Bear Infantry here. Doing a number on here, this unit of Red Bear. Down to 98 out of 150. Uh, what was that? I thought I heard cavalry charging around. No, I guess it was just units running. Uh, police force here getting into this unit of the Red Bear Infantry. Both police force have now shattered completely. Where did, uh, what's his name, General? Oh, wait, this Armstrong Guns unit is still here? No, it's shattered. Okay. Where did, uh, oh, here's his general. That's the other general I was looking for. Six general. Got a little bit of a fight for this, trying to capture the building, or neutralize the building, I should say. Rin is pulling back some more of his forces, his two units of Red Bear Infantry here. Do still have the Tosa Riflemen there. Red Bear Infantry, Red Bear Infantry. So I'm guessing Red Bear Infantry is really good, because I saw a ton of Red Bear Infantry on the battlefield. Uh, Rin is actually moving a unit of his Shogunate Guard infantry around. Probably he was going to try and get a shot in onto this general, but now the general is charged into combat. General with nine men in the unit. The uh, Shogunate Guard infantry here with 123. They are just getting charged in pretty good. Still 123 men, though. Sick Cavalry General now down to seven men remaining. He's going to pull back out of combat. Actually, he's wavering there. Shogun Infantry lost a couple of men there. Not a whole lot, though. Okay, so it seems that the uh, Black Flag faction here is going to make a stand. No, he's going to pull back again. Nope. I don't know what he's doing. i got to see. Okay, so he's moving a unit of his Red Bear Infantry along over here. Probably try and wait for this unit to move forward. This is definitely way different than Rome 2. <laughs> to cover these battles is way different than Rome 2. Oh! Uh, okay. They're hidden, I guess. Yeah, there were two units in there. They are now gone. They just kind of disappeared there. Those riflemen looked like they were wavering there and now pulling back from combat again. Huh. 
Oh, six general did come back from wavering. Okay, so we still there is still two generals on this side. Does Rin still have his general? I don't think he does. At least I can't see him. I don't see any other white flags. So I guess his general is dead. It's not showing me that the general is dead. At least in the little unit description there. Now Sick moving his general out. Looks like he's going to make his way back over here to start recapturing this building again. We do have the no-name general making his way out as well. Lots of strategy in this battle. I mean, in the beginning, in the beginning over there in this woods, it was just pretty much all. I mean, you can just looking around the entire battlefield. There is literally just bodies everywhere, and they are stacked. Stacked up bodies. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a unit that is shattered. I guess all the guys broke. Well, I guess all the guys died off the horses, and the horses are just staying. Red generals here look like they are trying to stay away from combat. Is combat getting back underway over here? Red Bear infantry starting to make their way up. The unit of the Red Bear Infantry here for the Black Faction, making their way a little bit out of the woods. Ooh. Ooh. Good volleys there. Unit of the Red Bear Infantry here for Ren, making their way up this hill. Should this is pretty much point blank shooting. Another unit making their way up. Is this another unit? It is. Yet another unit here of the guard infantry making their way up. Now they're getting shot in the back. Excuse me, the unit of Red Bear Infantry now getting shot in the back from the Shogunate Guard Infantry there. We have generals coming back over. We do. Here comes the general here for the No Name Faction. He's just kind of walking along. Getting some shots in onto this unit of Red Bear Infantry. Now they're going to charge in onto them. It sounds like we have melee infantry, melee combat going on. Ah, here it is. Shogunate Guard. Cutting up that unit of Red Bear Infantry there. Some more of Rin's uh, Shogunite Guard Infantry making their way around. Chasing off. Chasing off something. Now these guys are doing some weird duck walk step thing. Let's get back over here into the woods, see what these generals are doing. Oh, wow. So, six general now down to two men left in this unit, and they are being chased. Oh! Oh, they're gonna get away. So, six general is getting away, and that's the end of the battle. Okay. So, that I guess that was the final unit there that was needing to break. See if they have uh, army comps in the end battles here. That was pretty fun. That was really intense. That was a really intense battle to, to follow and cover and commentate on all of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I did the best that I could there. Okay, so yeah, we do have a bit of an army breakdown here. Uh, Rin, with he deployed 1920, he lost 1487, and he killed 1752 men. Trebor deployed 1756, lost 1595, killed 1330. This unit, this army here, 1230 deployed, 1045 lost, killed 1220. And Terry Wong here with 1845 deployed, lost 1691, and only killed 978. We have Cravat here, deployed 1740, killed 1603. Wow, that's really good. 
That's really good. Uh, no, he lost 603. Apologies. He killed 1,333. Okay. Um, the no-name guy, 1,530 deployed. Losses, 1,349. And he killed 1,575. Sick, 1,566 deployed. 1,301 lost. 1,774 enemy killed. Does he have the most kills? No, yes, he does. He is 7, 1,774. Rin here with 1,752. And Lordum here with 1380 deployed and 1116 loss, 971 killed. So guys, hope you enjoyed my coverage of this battle. Um, I don't know, like I said, it's first time doing it, so hopefully I didn't uh, didn't hurt anybody. It didn't hurt anybody's feelings uh, <laughs> covering this battle. So uh, yeah, like I said way back at the beginning, if you guys have any other battle replays from any of the other Total Wars, if you guys would like me to cover them, feel free to send them on over to me. I will talk to you soon.